All right, guys, this is another video. I'm back once again. It's your girl, Diva. You're watching Diva's TV. You already know what it is. I'm glad you decided to join me once again on this message. Man, I heard the word capitalization or capitalizing, something like that. Capitalize is the root word of that. And what it means is says to take the chance to gain advantage from. And so what God is doing, he's giving you the okay to take the proper advantage, to take advantage of something that has been trying to gain advantage over you. See, we all are connected together, right? We're connected to the Lord. We're connected together as a um, kind of like an army. <laughs> yes, we are. It's kind of like an army. We have the advantage. We actually have the advantage. Now, the Lord has given us the okay to go ahead and capitalize over our enemies. Now, um, because we're going basically just like they said in the word of God, that we um, we're able to go into the enemy's camp and take what is ours. And I feel like what God has already done, he has already capitalized it. And he's given us the okay. He's um, given us the assurance that it's already taken place. So I want you to get excited about that. I want you to know that the Lord has capitalized the advantage over the enemy for your sake, for your glory, for his glory to show you off, to let people know that, look, when you wait on God and when you when you actually serve the Lord with gladness, he comes through for you. And so a lot of times your victory is not only for you, it's also for people that are around you that doubted God, that doubted the Lord in you, that doubted your position, that doubted what you were doing for the Lord. They, I mean, they scoff. Some people will mock you for the things that you're doing because you've changed your life, because your name has changed, because things have changed. Just like I said in the other video, God is changing your name. Some people are not okay with that and they're laughing and mocking. They've laughed and mocked you, but now God is coming through. He's given you the advantage. He's actually capitalized what it is that he wants to do in your life. He's capitalized over the enemy, taking advantage over and going into the enemy's camp. Now we've won the victory. The victory is won. I want you to be okay with that, but you do have to understand that sometimes you have to continue to fight that fight though. You have to keep praying like you were. You have to keep going, even though you feel like, okay, the victory is mine. We can feel it. You can feel that the victory is ours. You can already feel it, but don't don't sit down and, and rest like that. Don't just get in a restful position because you just never know. You got to stay prayed up because the way that you, your war, your weapons of warfare is not carnal, but mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. And as you pull down strongholds, your prayer life, your, um, your worshiping, your praising, your singing, everything that you're doing for the Lord, keep doing it. Don't stop. If you fast and pray every week, make sure you keep doing it. Don't stop. I know we could fit. It's a feeling that you know that the Lord has taken advantage. He's taken the, the upper advantage over the enemy. He's went over and capitalized this thing. And it's amazing. Y'all just want y'all to get excited about that, but keep going. I want you to keep on going. See, Sometimes we can get into a place of feeling restful, like, okay, I'm good now. Let me just chill out. Um, see, and that's the thing about a, a race, because we all are running a race. As we run this race, race with patience, we still have to keep going. It's, it's a patient race. That means we're going steady. It's a steady race. It keeps going, but it's a steady race. We're not going to stop because if you think about a race, if you're running in a, on a track and you have people racing, you cannot, when you run, a lot of people like to start off with the momentum of just going a little bit slow. You know, not going too hard on the paint. When you get ready to get on that um, on that track, you don't want to go real, real fast at the beginning because you might run and lose your breath and lose your strength first. You want to take your time so you can keep being peak persevering, so you can keep on going and having that momentum about you. So it, on that track, you want, and then that towards the end, you keep running. You run a little faster when you start to see your enemies or your opponent getting tired because they started out too fast. They got too excited and then they, you know, they, they didn't have the momentum towards the end, but see what spirit wants you to do. Just keep on going at a steady pace, but keep going with the prayers, the praise, the worship, all of that good stuff that you've been doing, the prayer and fasting, all of that good stuff that you've been doing before. Keep going. Don't stop. You can keep at a steady pace, but don't stop. Don't you ever stop doing that. Okay. Cause listen, 
when the enemy sees you slacking, when he sees, look, because he's watching, baby, your opponent is watching you to see if you're going to get tired or not. They running, they kind of feeling like, should I be, you know, they kind of feel like, is they they feel like they building up. You know, they watching, they keep watching. Now, now they look like they slowing down. Now, and then, so as the enemy um, or your opponent begins to see that you have slacked up and you're tired, they know that they are one. You can't, you can't do that. That's when they try to take that advantage. So what you want to do is keep pushing forward and allow what is supposed to happen to happen. Let it keep going at a steady pace because your enemy is going to get tired and weary, baby. They can't see when you going at a steady pace with God on your side, they going to get tired. All of that is going to slow down. They gonna, Their momentum is going to slow down. They're going to be tired as ever. But you, you slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. So at this point, like I said, God is capitalized. He has went, already went in, but he wants you to keep going. Don't you stop now, okay? Peace, love, and light. This is the end of the message. I'm glad you joined me. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and let everybody know that the diva has posted a video, okay? Peace, love, and light.